Now, there is a wave of reaction coming in on the possible assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. We're going to bring in our senior reporter Eileen Buckley now. She joins me live in studio with more of what local politicians are saying from the federal level on down, Eileen. Well, Taylor, I attended a news conference earlier tonight with Western New York Republican Congressman Nick Langworthy, who was calling this assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump a very disgusting and senseless act of political violence in this country. The congressman says this attempt by the shooter is domestic terrorism. He also called it an attack on democracy and freedom. Langworthy says this is very troubling. But this needs to be a moment of hard reset in this country. We need to all as Americans reject political violence, threats of violence against one another in terms of uh, you know, rejecting each other's political opinions. You know, we, we can't have this glorious democracy if we don't respect each other's right to have political opinions and viewpoints. And the fact that President Trump's life came into question today, I think needs to be a sobering moment for all Americans. No matter what letter is next to your name on your voter registration card. Langworthy saying talk of Trump planning to become a dictator if elected president is a lie and is causing this type of violence. He says we must take this moment and condemn political violence. He says the current rhetoric has clearly led to this moment. The congressman saying it is his deep hope that if any good comes out of this is the temperature can be turned down. Now New York Governor Kathy Hochul releasing a statement saying any violence against a fellow American is disgusting and unacceptable. She says she is praying for the safety and health of former President Trump. New York's senior senator and Senate Majority Leader Charles Schumer saying, I am horrified by what happened at the Trump rally in Pennsylvania and relieved that former President Trump is safe. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand saying, my thoughts are with former President Trump and all affected by this horrible act. I am grateful to law enforcement for their swift response. Erie County Democratic Party Chairman Jeremy Zellner saying there can be no excuse for violence against political opponents or as a means of changing the course of an election, regardless of who is responsible for this despicable incident at today's Trump rally in Pennsylvania. This criminal act must be universally condemned. And finally, Erie County Executive Mark Polenkar saying at no time in our society is violence of any nature acceptable. I'm thinking and praying praying for former President Trump's full recovery. Now, I did ask Congressman Langworthy how this will affect the start of the Republican National Convention, which begins Monday. He says, God willing, Trump will be there to accept the nomination for president. Taylor, 